Hello, I am a fish, and yes, this is what a fish sounds like. Millions of fish have been used over the years to understand what effects the chemicals that you use every day may have on the aquatic environment. This is a regulatory requirement for many of the different agencies here today, organizing the one conference. But, I am a protected life stage, according to European law, and every effort should be used to minimize the use of protected organisms for testing chemicals. Many of us are aware of the three R's, i.e. reduction, replacement, and refinement, which was coined over half a century ago by Russell and Birch. But let's not forget that others, such as Lily Crap et al., advocate the term six R's, to also include, robustness slash repeatability, relevance, and most importantly, regulatory acceptance. Nearly 25 years ago, the use of fish embryos, instead of juvenile fish for toxicity testing, was promoted as an ethical, relevant, alternative, because fish embryos are not classed as a protected life stage. Then, in 2006, a new proposed test guideline for the fish embryo toxicity test was submitted to the OECD. After eight long years, and extremely robust interlaboratory ring trials, it was finally accepted as a new test guideline in 2013. But, the reference to this test being an alternative method was removed. Subsequently, some clever cats in the regulatory authority evaluated the fish embryo test, but they did not consider it be a perfect one-to-one -one replacement to the traditional acute fish toxicity test, so they challenged industry to come up with a weight of evidence approach to justify the use of the fish embryo toxicity test. But what is a weight of evidence approach, and how can it be done? One of my fishy friends once told me that a weight of evidence approach is just a poorly described Bayesian network, which is a mathematical probabilistic tool. So, some clever people in the matrix came up with a Bayesian network approach in a project called SWIFT, and we now have a tool which can accurately predict acute fish toxicity from the use of fish embryo toxicity data in combination with other lines of evidence. We now hope that regulatory authorities accept this approach and fulfill the destiny of the sixth R, and that I can keep swimming happily ever after. The end.